On my previous video, I walked you through how to update your products and services created via imported setup. In this video, I'm going to start from an empty store and add some items to demonstrate the steps. To start, I navigate to Settings, Stores, and create a new store. And then I click on Store Users and add myself into this store. I set the pin number to 1111. I don't want my pin entry to expire. I choose the role as owner, and I want to land on Transact Card page when I enter my pin number. Then I make myself active. That's it. I click on Switch User and enter my pin number. Now, if I click on the store name, I will see the Switch Store button to switch to the new store I just created. As you can see, I can easily switch between my stores from here. To add a new product or service, I navigate to Settings and then Items. You can see that there are no items defined here, so I'm going to click on the plus button to add my first item. I enter Shirt and click on the check button to save. I can add an image by clicking here. I have already saved the image on my computer, so I click Upload button to upload it, and then I select it. I'm going to set the retail price at $10. The wholesale price refers to my cost. Now I'm going to add a layout on Layouts and call it General. Then I use the plus button to add my shirt into this layout. My layout will be activated when I add it to my register. So I go to Settings, Register to add my layout. Now, when I go to New Transaction page, I can see my shirt, and when I click on it, it will be added to the list of items. You can see that shirt has been added without any further description. While I can simply change the name of the shirt to be shirt, dry clean, or shirt, laundry, to add more description, a better approach would be to define my shirt through attributes. So I need attributes like task or task detail to be able to describe dry cleaning, laundry, or alterations for the shirt. Therefore, I navigate to Settings, Items, Attributes, and add an attribute called Task. I set the default value to Dry Clean. For an alteration store, this might be shortened instead. I also add another attribute called Task Detail, in case I want to provide more details on the item description. I'm going to set the default value to with starch. In a typical alteration store, you might want to set this to double stitch. Let's go back to items and continue on editing the shirt. Under shirt settings, I can add attributes. I'm going to add the attributes of task and task detail here. I can keep the default values or change them. Now that I defined my item perfectly, I can set the price. Let's say it's $15. One of the most important steps is to add your taxes. So I navigate to Taxes and then create a new tax. I'm going to call it VAT and set the rate to 10%. I want VAT to be added to the price, so I keep Inclusive unchecked. In UK, Australia, and many other countries, the tax is included in the price, in which case you simply need to check this option. Now I go back and add the tax to the shirt and save. Let's go to the new transaction page and see what we've done so far. When I click on the shirt, you can see that it's added to the list, however, Gilas did not ask me to select a task or task detail. This is because whenever there is only one choice, Gilas automatically selects it. 
Let's go back and continue adding more variants. A variant is a variation of the same item with different values for attributes. Now, I'm going to add a new variant by clicking Add Variant button on the bottom of the page. Please note that I can set a new price for each variant. Here, I can set the task and task detail attributes that I added to the item in the previous step. I keep the task as dry clean and enter no starch for the task detail attribute. This means when user selects dry clean, there will be two choices, with starch and no starch, and each can have a different price. Note that the tax has been automatically allocated to the variant, but you can always remove it by clicking here. Let's navigate to new transaction page to check the result. This time, when I click on shirt, I can see options with starch and no starch. Note that on the top, it says select task detail, which means we did not get to select task. This is, again, because there is only one option for task, and that is dry clean. So it's automatically selected by Gilas. I click on with starch to select it. Now you can see shirt, dry clean, with starch on the item description. Let's go back to my shirt and add some alterations. This time, when I add a variant on the task, I'm going to put shorten sleeves. And on the task details, I'm going to put normal. I then add another alterations with the task of shorten sleeves. And on the task detail, I enter original. Please note that in order for Gilas to group tasks, you need to make sure they are identical. So it's better to copy the task to avoid mistakes. Please note that the top item has a gray background, which means it's the main item. This is the item you get to select the attributes to be used by variants. Let's get back to the new transaction page and click on shirt. Now you can see dry clean and shorten sleeves appear on the select task page. When I click on shorten sleeves, I can see normal and original. And if I go back and select dry clean, I can see with starch and no starch options. Now here's the tricky part, which is what most of the software applications on the market do not support. I want to perform both alterations and dry cleaning on the very same shirt this is really easy in Gilas. Let's go back to my shirt settings. There is an option here called Allow Adding Sub-Items. Checking this box will allow adding variants of the same item into the item as a sub-item. Let's test by navigating to the New Transaction page. First, I click on Shirt and select Dry Clean with Starch. Then, I click on the Add To button here, and now, I get to select Shorten Sleeves, Normal. You can see how nicely two tasks have been added to the very same item. On my next video, I will cover some more details on setting up your products and services.